With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So let's begin with the question. According to the question, we have the equation and for every value of m belonging to r, we have to find the different values of m according to which the location of roots is given to us. So the first part says that the roots are greater than 2. So if the roots are greater than 2, then we can say that alpha plus beta, that is sum of roots, should be greater than 2 and alpha beta should be greater than 2. We can also comment on d should be greater than or equal to 0 and we can also comment on the value of this function f of x at x equals to 2 should be greater than 0. So when we are solving this part, then this part says that minus b by a, that is m minus 3 should be greater than 2. So we can conclude that m should be greater than 5. If we solve this part, alpha beta greater than 2, then we can say that c by a should be greater than 2 or in other words, m should be greater than 2. If we solve this part, then this part says that b square minus 4 4ac should be greater than or equal to 0. So this part says that m minus 3 whole square minus 4 times m should be greater than or equal to 0 or this becomes m minus m square this becomes minus 10 m plus 9 that should be greater than or equal to 0 and this becomes m minus 1 into m minus 9 that should be greater than or equal to 0. Now this equation says that f of 2 should be greater than 0. When we put x equal to 2 in this equation, then we obtain 4 minus 2 into m minus 3 and this becomes plus m. So finally, this is 10 minus m that should be greater than 0. So we can say that m should be less than 10. So when we take the intersection of all these conditions, the value of m for which this situation holds is m equal to 9 to 10 right now this is both roots are positive so according to next part when both roots are positive then we can write the value of alpha plus beta that should be greater than 0 alpha beta should also be greater than 0 d should be greater than or equal to 0 and we can comment on f of 0 that should be also greater than 0 because both the roots are greater than 0 so when we say that alpha plus beta is greater than 0 then we can say that m minus 3 should be greater than 0 or m should be greater than 3 alpha beta greater than 0 then we can say that m should be greater than 0 and if d is greater than or equal to 0 then this is going to be the same condition but this time uh, it is also equality so we can say that for all the values of m less than 1 greater than 9 this is going to exist and f of 0 greater than 0 says that when we put the value of x equal to 0 in f of x then that should be greater than 0 or in other words m should be greater than 0 so when we take the intersection of all these strings all these things then we are left with m the values of m which are belonging from 9 to infinity so this becomes 9 to infinity right now the next part says that we have one root positive another root as a negative so we can comment on alpha plus beta no can we comment on alpha beta yes obviously and this should be less than zero d is definitely greater than zero and zero is going to lie between the roots so that is f of zero is going to be less than zero so when we say that alpha beta is less than zero we are going to comment on m less than zero when d is greater than zero then this is going to be the case for all the values of m greater less than one and greater than nine if this is the case f of zero is less than zero then m should be less than zero now when we take the intersection of this so we are left with minus infinity to zero so this becomes minus this becomes minus infinity to 0 and this should be open at 0 right now we are going to solve the next part which says that one root is greater than 2 other root is smaller than 1 so if one root is greater than 2 other root is smaller than 1 so this is the case so we can say that 1 and 2 1 and 2 are going to lie between that so f of 1 is also less than 0 f of 2 is also less than 0 and if one root is smaller than 1 and other root is greater than 2 then we can say that d is also greater than 0 but we cannot comment on alpha plus beta or alpha beta right so these are the three conditions which we have now when we put x equal to 1 in our equation so we this equation becomes 1 minus m minus 3 plus m so this becomes 4 this becomes 4 and this should be less than 0 so this is not the case so we can say that 
this equation does not have any real roots because this is 1 minus m minus 3 and this is my plus m and that should be less than 0 but when we solve it this becomes 4 less than 0 which is not possible so for n no value of m this is going to exist so this becomes pi now when we solve this part of our equation which says that the roots are equal in magnitude but opposite in sign so we can say that alpha plus beta is going to be equal to 0 alpha beta is going to be less than 0 d is going to be greater than 0 and f of 0 is going to be less than 0 because uh, 0 is going to lie between the roots so alpha plus beta equal to 0 suggests that m minus 3 should be equal to 0 or m should be equal to 3 and this suggests that m should be less than 0 so when we take the intersection we are again left with nothing so this also becomes phi now this part says that both the roots lie in the interval 1 to 2 so what can be the value of m in that case so if both the roots lie in this interval then we can say for f of 1 this is going to be greater than 0 for f of 2 this is going to be greater than 0 can we comment on alpha beta yes that should be greater than 0 but we cannot comment on alpha plus beta and we can comment on d that should be greater than or equal to 0 so when we put the value of x equal to 1 in our equation then the equation becomes then equation becomes 1 minus m minus 3 plus m so this becomes 4 which is greater than 0 so this holds good right when we put x equal to 2 in our equation so let us check that x equal to 2 becomes 4 minus 2 into m minus 3 plus m so that becomes 10 minus m so that is 10 minus m that is 10 minus m greater than 0 so we can say that m should be less than 10 if alpha beta is greater than 0 then we can say that m is greater than 0 and if this is the case then we can say that this is basically m minus 1 into m minus 9 and this is greater than or equal to 0 now when we take the intersection so again we are left with 9 and 10 so this becomes the case for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.